All right, so in this video, I want to talk about the coding implementation of DPO training process. And in the last video, I talked about how you can use DPO to uh, fine tune a LLM to align the LLM to the human preferences, right? So in this video, it is mainly about the coding implementation part uh, where we will try to fine tune a Mistral 7B model using the DPO algorithm, right? So first of all, few of the installations which are required. Uh, then we are kind of using a Kaggle kernel and uh, we need the credentials of Hugging Face uh, or Hugging Face profile and also the weights and bias uh, profile, right? So Hugging Face uh, credentials are required because we want to push our model to the Hugging Face once it is fine-tuned and then the weights and bias are required to uh, track the model performance and all, right? So first of all, like these are like the credentials which are uh, coming from Kaggle Secrets and then uh, we are logging into the Hugging Face Hub. Uh, then also we are logging into the weights and bias portal uh, using the command line utilities. After that, what we are doing is we are doing certain imports. So the important part here is this, uh, from TRL, we are importing the DPO trainer. Right, so if you see during the installation only, I have mentioned that TRL should be installed and that library we will uh, leverage here to do the fine tuning process, right? So once this imports are done, then what I am doing is I am importing the data set. So this data set is kind of a anthropic, that is like HHRLHF. So there we have the prompts and also the uh, chosen and rejected response so you can see like one of the example like human is saying something that is actually the prompt then assist is the reply coming from the model right so it is kind of a conversations that are going on and that is kind of a one example of this uh, data set so similarly we have the rejected uh, response or the uh, data set we have a rejected column also where the which are not aligned to human preferences that also given here right so this is the prompt is kind of incorporated in this data set so we i have found out a better uh, data set which is based on this anthropic hhrlhf so that uh, there there is a prompt which is kind of the human version of the question and also uh, the chosen response and the rejected response right so we will actually use this data set to build the data set which is in a required format which will be required for the dpo training process right so that data set i am importing here now the faster training process we are kind of only importing the test data set so we are not using the training data set so you can go ahead and try the training and test split and train it for longer uh, process or longer epochs right so you can see the data set has this uh, columns like prompt response chosen and rejected so we will use the prompt chosen and the rejected columns so and we can also see the number of rows here so after that a simple function to prepare the data set which will be uh, which is uh, the required format for dpo training process where we have the prompt and uh, the chosen and the rejected uh, response right then what we are doing is we are just using this function to like convert our data set in this format of uh, which we defined here and we are also removing the original columns that are present in the data set so this is the training data set which we have prepared and where we have this three columns now right so after that we are uh, using this uh, the mistral 7b gptq version from the bloke we are importing the tokenizer and we are also setting the end of sentence token as a pad token right so after that what we are doing is we are importing the sft model models right so this is kind of the instruction fine tune model and that model we will fine tune using the dpo process right so we need to have two uh, models one is like the model which we will uh, train or the fine tune so that that we are calling as model and also we have the model ref so this is the same copy of the model which we are using this ref is kind of a frozen model which we we will use as a uh, base model ref is the base policy and using this we will uh, kind of uh, using the model ref we will try to measure the KL divergence and we will like avoid the larger updates to the uh, existing policy right so once these two models are uh, imported and created 
then we can see the model architecture so you can see like there are certain uh, layers of the model which are like k proj q proj or v proj so this also we generally do in case of like supervised fine tuning process we generally don't train everything and we can like target this uh, particular modules to train uh, for the supervised fine tuning process so in case you don't know like how to do the supervised fine tuning process i have uh, two set of videos for this like using a q load or how you can fine tune a base foundation model model right so after that we are doing certain operations on the data set like we are converting it to a pandas data frame and we can see the prompt and chosen and rejected response after that we are just sampling like 100 records and creating a validation data set and then again we are converting the pandas data frame to the hugging face uh, data set so after that like a uh, few of the peft config which we are mentioning the target modules are like q proj and v proj so we will only train uh, these two modules for the dpo process also we are mentioning uh, the rank and also the uh, lora alpha and also the uh, task type so task type here is like causal lm right so once uh, that is done so after that we are mentioning what are the training arguments that we need to have so uh, certain operations which we will do on top of the model that where we will push the model that is like mistral dpo is the folder and that will be created then what are the optimizers that we will use what are the precision of the model that we will uh, save to the hugging face uh, repository and then we are creating the dpo trainer so in the dpo trainer like we need to pass the model then the model ref which will act as a reference model for the k divergence measure then the training arguments which we have created here that we will pass as an argument then the training data set the validation data set and also the max length and the max uh, target length and the prompt length that we are also mentioning here and also if you remember we have this parameter which is very specific to direct preference optimization beta so that beta value i am initializing as 0.1 so you can fine tune this uh, parameter to get a optimal uh, performance then using this simple command like dpo trainer dot train we can start training uh, or the fine tune the llm for this uh, process right so you can see the loss for training loss validation logs the validation loss and also the rewards which are coming as an output from the dpo training process and uh, so we started with like 0.67 as a loss and then we ended up with 0.57 so this i have trained for 250 epochs and every 10 epochs i i was kind of uh, recording what is the model uh, training loss and validation loss right so this is how we can uh, by simply using this trl library you can like uh, fine tune uh, llm using the dpo process then i am passing this uh, model to the hugging phase hub and i'm mentioning that mistral dpo is the name of this uh, model and once it is uh, it is pushed to the model hub then we can use it for the uh, inference purpose once the model is trained and it has been pushed to hugging phase hub you can like use this url to open that model and you can get the details of the model card and also the path of the model so all this you can see like the training loss details and the validation loss details all will be present in this url which is like a hugging face hub uh, model repository and once you see that the model is present in the hugging face model hub you can just copy this path and you can start making inferences using this model which is uh, which is like a dpo fine tuned model of the mistral 7b right so once that is trained so you can like uh, go for inference phase right so first of all like uh, so i am using a different notebook so i need to again redo the installation so if you wanted to continue in the same notebook you can like skip the reinstallation process and all right so once that is done you can mention the model path here and all these details I have mentioned in the uh, starting of this notebook. So I will also mention the GitHub URL uh, for these two notebooks. So one repository which I have created for these two notebooks that I will also uh, give as a link in the description of this video. So you can just uh, go and go ahead and, and play around with that code. 
so once the model path is defined so after that the model will be loaded at first and also the tokenizer so the tokenizer will be instantiated at first with the model path and also we will load the model from this auto peft model for causal llm uh, which comes from the transformer package and uh, then we kind of load the pre-trained model which we have trained right so after after that i have also uh, written some code which will define the generation config right so do sample equals to true what is the top k value what is the temperature that we want to use uh, the max new token that will be present and also the padding token that we will be using while generating the content right so once this process are done then what we will do is we can like start with a question where my phone uh, which is not turning on right so this is my question which i am passing as a prompt to the model right so at first what we need to do is we need to pass this prompt to the tokenizer which will convert this sentence to tokens and that will be captured here so in between i am also mentioning return tensor equals to pt so it will be a pytorch tensor and also we are moving the uh, tensor to the cuda uh, device right so after that we can start generating the answer for this question right so which is like i'm passing the inputs then the generation config and we get the output so this output will be again the tokens and that token needs to be converted to the english words right so that i am doing here tokenizer.decode so that i am uh, using to convert the tokens to the uh, english words so this is the output which you can see which is more or less like aligned to the human feedback which we are trying to do using dpo optimization or the dpo fine tuning process and uh, and you can like go ahead and and play around with the different prompts and see how the model is performing so this is just an example how you can use a SFT model and then use a DPO fine tuning process to uh, get a fine tuned model and then start making the inferences, right? So I have just uh, trained the model on 250 epochs. So you can go ahead and train it for a larger number of epochs and see how the training and validation loss is. And with that, you can like uh, create your own uh, direct preference optimization model based on uh, human preference you now got an overview of whole llm training process with the with this series of videos which i have published okay so i hope you like this one if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe it takes a lot of effort to create such videos so i need your support please uh, like this video and also share with your friends and if you have any questions please uh, mention in the comment section thank you see you in the next video